Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. Welcome back guys, and first one, select this line layer. And let's zoom in here, press S and click this icon, chain scale like this. Okay, let's move it up and let's create new scale keyframe, chain scale zero and go to one second, chain scale 100 percent. Let's see. Okay, select keyframes, make easy or click F9. Go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth animation. Okay, so back to keyframes and let's go to first second. Select these answer and question layers. Let's hide and select this phone layer. Let's see. Okay, and press S and click this icon. Go to anchor point, move the anchor point down. Click station tool and change scale zero. Let's go to here. And right now, let's create new scale keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard and chain scale 115. Okay, go to 10 keyframes again and change 95. Go to 10 keyframes, change 105. Go to 10 keyframes again, change 100%. So there are more keyframes for smooth animation. Let's select keyframes and make easy. Let's see. Okay. So go to back and right now let's select the scale and change scale 50. Go to here, change scale like this. Okay, next keyframe, chain 110. And go to here, let's see. Okay, so select keyframes, hold Alt, move to left. Nice, and select two frames. Let's see timing. Okay, right now we can use scale two frames here. Nice. So right now let's go to here and select this body, head, nose, face and glasses, eyes and right mouse, pre-compass, add name, character. And click OK. Select this character, let's open conversation. Go to select region of interest. Let's select region like this. And conversation, let's use crop comp to region of interest. For change conversation sizes. Close conversation. And select this character, let's move it down. And let's move to right a little bit like this. And press P. Let's move it down this character and make new person in frame. Go to 10 Q frames. Move it up. And select two frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, so select last two frame, move to right, go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth. Okay, let's move to right a little bit again. Okay, so in this time, select this character, let's move to behind phone layer, select phone layer, control D, and move to behind character, and select this character. Click toggle switch modes, change known to alpha matte phone. Let's see. Okay, so select this character, move to left, move to left more. Nice. So let's open character and let's see timing. Okay, let's open character and select these eyes and glasses, face, nose, link to head layer. And select head layer, let's go to solo, select pen behind, move the anchor point down. Click station tool and unsolo. Select this head layer, press R. And first, let's go to first second, make rotation two frame, chain rotation. Okay, select this body and move the anchor point down. And press R, make rotation two frame. And select this head layer, don't forget to link to body and chain rotation like this. Go to 10 frames, change 10 
and this chain 10 go to 10 keyframes chains minus 5 and this minus 5 go 10 keyframes again change to that 5 and head layers change rotation to that 5 and last keyframe change 0 and make keyframes is ease let's see okay back to cam session let's see so let's back to character say keyframes and move to right nice i like it so for fix this problem select this character click toggle switch mode and click this icon for see this part okay and open character conversation select this lip sync let's move the inside character and press s chain scale and move to here let's link to head layer and right mouse go to time and time stretch change 150 percent click ok and let's control d for duplicate move to right for more talking and select composition let's see nice and select this head layer let's go to here and create new rotation keyframe go to 10 keyframes chain rotation like this and go to here create new rotation keyframe go 10 keyframe change like this and here again make rotation change head layer and here chain rotation and let's one create new rotation go 10 keyframe change zero and for bounce animation let's go to here select this head layer hold shift press p make new passing keyframe go to middle move to down for bounce animation go to next keyframe say first keyframe copy pass and make keyframes easy let's select work area nice select keyframes copy and go to here control v and here also here and let's one here okay so select body and go to here again let's make rotation keyframe go to some keyframes and chain rotation 3 and go to here create new rotation go 10 keyframe change minus 2 and here again create new rotation go 10 keyframe change 3 and here again new keyframe go 10 keyframe change 0 let's see okay and let's add bounce for body select body hold shift press p make new passing keyframe go to middle move to down go to next keyframe say first keyframe copy pass and make two frames easy let's see okay this very dynamic and natural movements for a character select these position two frames copy and go to here control v and here control v and here and let's select these position two frames move to left and select all these two frames move to left nice so select these eyes and let's press S, go to here, make sketch your frame, click this icon, go to switch your frames, one to three, change scale five, go to switch your frames, one to three, change one hundred percent, and make your frames easy. And let's copy two frames, go to here, control V and here, control V and here, and here, here, and let's one here. nice let's close conversation and let's see here full animation okay nice and we can delete these check layers and answer equations delete and let's select this background shape for loop animation let's go to fx presses search fx cc repetile select repetile let's use for background shapes and go to solo Let's change expand right like this. Change this to 1000. And select this background shape, press P. Go to first second, create new passing two frame. Let's unsolo and go to last second, select work area. And let's move to left these background shapes. Let's see. Nice. 
So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!